Today we will learn how to export your SubD models from Gravity Sketch and import them into Autodesk Alias as fully editable SubD models. I'm going to export this concept sports car model I built in Gravity Sketch. When exporting to Alias SubD, it is important that only SubD surfaces are included in the file. Any strokes, revolves, volumes, or other non-SubD surfaces need to be exported separately. It helps to organize your layers so that all your SubD objects can be easily separated. Click off all layers containing non-SubD objects, leaving only the SubD layer. Click the blue button on your non-drawing hand, click Save and Export, and save to the cloud by clicking Cloud Export. Click to Export Models, and your model will be highlighted with dimensions. Only visible layers will be included in the export file. Objects contained within hidden layers will not be included in the export. You will see three available file formats. For exporting SubD to Alias, click on OBJ. Click on Advanced Settings to see additional options. You'll see two buttons, Render and Control. The Render setting will export a fully smooth model and is useful for visualization purposes. But for exporting a fully editable model, click the Control setting. This exports the original low poly model. Click the blue check mark and name the file to complete the export. You'll see it upload to your landing pad library. Go to your landing pad browser and find the file by clicking on Recent. Highlight the file and click Download to your local device. Launch Autodesk Alias, start a new workspace, and click File, Import, Subdiv. Locate your file and import it to the workspace. The model may come in at 10 times scale. If that is the case, select the entire model and scale to 10%. What you have now is a fully editable SubD surface model with exactly the same surface geometry as the model created in Gravity Sketch. You'll see that surface highlights and reflections match the surfaces created in Gravity Sketch. You can select and move control points, edges, and faces just as though the model has been created in Alias. From there, you can continue editing the model on your desktop. 